YouTubers. How are y'all doing tonight? This is the Yukon Wildcat coming at you. Coming to you from the uh, Wildcat Lounge. I was setting things up out here tonight. This fell off the shelf and I thought then, hmm, I must be supposed to be wearing this. So this is my Yukon look. Hasn't been really cold enough to uh, wear this hat, but it is a very warm hat. Matter of fact, it's so thick I can't even hardly hear myself talk. <laughs> Smoking a corn cob tonight. I guess you call it a poker cob. And in it, I'm smoking on the square. I don't know who blends it. I'm guessing it's somebody's brick and mortar. I got this as a sample from uh, Stay at Home Piper. Alex sent this to me. And the box that I sent him, I got it back today. <laughs> All because I forgot to put his apartment number on it. So Alec, I do apologize. And uh, it is all ready to go back out. So Monday morning, I will send it right back to you. But this is a pretty good blend on the square. Pretty smooth. Not harsh. I like that. I like that a lot. Tonight, just drinking some coffee. It's a chocolate glazed donut. I'm drinking it in my uh, cruise ship mug I got last year. Getting ready for the cruise. I don't believe I'll be taking this with me. <laughs> I get enough bad looks. And, uh, so I don't think I'll be taking the hat with me. But it's pretty good, doesn't it? I love corn cobs. I like to uh, drive with a corn cob. They're light. Easy to clench. You can drive. I like them. Somebody tell me uh, who blends on the square. You might get me some of that. That is some really good stuff. I have uh, seen several people on uh, YouTube uh, smoke it. But it is some. It is really, really good. Tonight I watched uh, the Wildcats play. They won by twenty plus. They're looking good. As hard as I was on them at the beginning of the year, I must say they look pretty good right now. Scal looks good. <clears throat> He's kind of had a coming out game tonight. They beat LSU by 20-something, I think. They may have gone under 20 by the end of the game. They brought the scrubs in. And so it, it, when everybody good was in, it, they were up 20-plus. But I don't know where the, the score ended up. I'm a little upset. They had the uh, Republican caucus here in Kentucky, and I had to work. And it started at 10 and ended at 4. So I didn't get to go. Kind of frustrates me a little bit because I don't miss elections. And I wouldn't have missed this one. Had I got to vote, I would have voted for Ted Cruz. Just to let you know, 
Not to get into some big argument about who's good and who's not. That's just who I would have voted for. Using a Wildcat tamper. Um, back in the spring, fall, I told people that if they would... Uh, send me their address I would send this to them free of charge and uh, I still mean that if you guys give me your address to your house um, I will absorb that cost and send a couple of these to you they're not bad to travel with you know if you need something to p throw in your pocket and, and keep in the car I've got a couple of these in my car and uh, you know they're good to, to travel with got wildcat blue on there if you would like one instant message me your address I'd love to send them to you well, if you don't want one I totally understand I thought today was the weather was supposed to be a little bit nice but it's kind of cool most of today And, um, but however, tomorrow's supposed to be in the 50s, Monday in the 60s, Tuesday and Wednesdays in the 70s. So that's nice. That's a really good blend. On the square. Hmm. I've heard people talk about it and kind of did reviews on it, but I didn't pay attention very well. It does taste like a mild English. But it is. It is pretty good. You can kind of see the. Looks like Bright Virginia's Burley, maybe. And some Latakia. Those might be Orientals. I don't know. I, I can't break that stuff down. I can tell you I think it's a mild English. That's about as good as I get. But um, it's pretty nice. Had to go work today. Slow at work. Not a lot going on at the courthouse on the weekends. Except for people bailing people out and fines and some most Saturdays we have someone want to file an EPO. We we take care of that on the weekends. Nobody did that today. And they did have um, UK's um, law department or whatever. <clears throat> They were having mock trials, so everybody was coming for that. And uh, but that was about about all there. I tell you, people who hack on uh, corn cob pipes really don't know what they're talking about. I love corn cobs. They're cheap. They they are great smokers. I, I've lit this one time and it is still lit. Um, probably a four or five dollar pipe right there. You cannot beat that. I think this was um, gifted to me by Daniel Shore uh, in my Christmas package. 
I know he gifted to me a corn cob. I just don't know which one it was. I think it was this one. I could be wrong. I smoked this one earlier this week, and it smokes so good, and it's so light, and it clenches so good. I thought, I'm going to smoke that sucker again tonight. I know. I'm a rebel. But... I'm a rebel from the Yukon. <laughs> well, hope you guys get a chance to blow some smoke rings in the air tonight. Hope you've had a chance to hang out with family and friends this weekend. But above all, my friends, be blessed. I'll talk to you soon.